teach me to science. I am sitting here in my room at UConn. It is currently 8.55 at night. It is the night before I start my official REU at the Neurobiology and Physiology program at UConn. Uh, I've moved into my room. I don't have a roommate yet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a roommate or not. I've met some very nice people so far. I went down the hall and met a whole bunch of other students who are also in other REUs, not just the Neurobiology and Physiology program. And everyone seems very, very nice. I just finished editing a different video and uploaded that, and I'd say it's been a very productive day. Moving in was quite the journey today. 12 o'clock we arrived at the hall where we were supposed to check in, and we went to check in and there was no record of me being a student enrolled in an RU here. So we waited and they gave me a temporary key and a room and said that there was a potential that I might be moving later in the day. So my mom and I were like, okay, that's fine. We'll go around and explore the campus a little bit more. So we went and saw the room that I'm going to be meeting everybody in tomorrow morning at nine. And then we also went and ate ice cream at the dairy bar, which was super good. I took some pictures with some cows. Everything was uh, good today, so. I'll let you know more tomorrow after I've had my first day as a student in an REU. Also, I was very proud of myself because I did not cry today. I was like 10 seconds away from crying when my mom left and uh, I didn't, so we're solid. Hey everyone, it is a little past one o'clock on the Tuesday that I started my RU. I am just walking back to my apartment because I didn't have my computer or my laptop and I need to do some things. So I'm running back to get it. I just wanted to give a little update. So far, everything's really good. My PI seems really, really nice and everybody at the program seems to be really really nice and uh, yeah so far it's good I really hope it doesn't rain today but I'm not sure if it's going to or not right now it's not um, yeah so I've got a couple hours here I'm gonna do some reading get that primary lit game on and then got an ice cream social at 3 and uh, I don't know what after that. We'll see. It's now Wednesday, second day of the RU. It is 8.30 and I'm heading down to the room where we're gonna meet. I slept okay last night. I don't know, it was fine. Uh, I've got a lot of reading yet to do and stuff like that, so I'll let you know how it goes. Okay guys, so I'm in my lab right now. Um, I was just reading, but then I actually got to go do something today, which I was not expecting. So I went into the cell culture room and actually got to help change media on the cells. So that was super cool. And uh, I did a pretty good job for the most part. I mean, I'm not used to working under a hood, which is like, so it's like um, this like space and you have a glass wall between you and the space and it's negative pressure so it like keeps everything inside of it it was really cool though um and they have like a grocery store for media and like lab stuff it's basically like you go in and you pick out your stuff and then you check out it's like a grocery store it's super cool so so far 
impressed and excited. All right, so today is day three of the REU at Yukon. I'm pretty tired today. Um, yesterday went really well though. I mean, I did like five hours of reading and then one hour of lab work. So it wasn't a super long stressful day. I feel like for the most part things are going well. I wish that the weather was a little bit better. It's been pretty cloudy and meh. It's not really helping with keeping like a good mood at all. I went for a walk yesterday after I got done in lab and that was nice. I mean, people seem nice. And then I, uh, for lunch I got Qdoba, like, or like something really, really similar. And that was good. It's a little bit pricey, but I mean, it's fine. Today I've got a training at nine and then um, after training, I'm gonna go to the lab, do some work in the lab, maybe go to Walmart this afternoon. There's a group of people going to Walmart and uh, that's it. All right, see you next time. Finally, some nice weather, I love it. So today's Friday, rock on, it's Friday. Um, I'm going into the lab, today we're doing an LDH assay, and then this afternoon I have an ice cream social at four, and uh, I've gotta do some laundry tonight. You know, typic, typical college things, love that. Today should be pretty, pretty good, I think. I, uh, I'm wearing my anchor shirt, which I think is adorable, so it's gonna be a good day. Really gonna be a good day, I think, so. It's been weird this first week being here. Um, I don't know, it's just been weird. I guess, like, getting used to everything and, but yesterday we went to the grocery store and I got some groceries for the weekend for food got some stuff for sandwiches and some ramen so I should be set for the weekend and uh, this weekend I'll have to go in and change my cell media because that has to be done every two to three days so I have to do that other than that I'm going to enjoy this beautiful weather today and uh, <laughs> who am I kidding I'm gonna be in the lab all day I'm not going to enjoy this beautiful weather. This afternoon, I might enjoy the beautiful weather, but uh, right now, no weather will be enjoyed. Well, on my way to work, on my way to the lab, I'll enjoy the weather. Like I said, it's uh, going all right. Just a little bit of homesickness and some adjusting to the new lab and the people and that kind of thing, but Everybody's been really nice, so thumbs up. Hey everybody, so it is now Friday at night. I just got back from getting ice cream with the group, and it was my last activity for the week for the RU. I just wanted to give some final thoughts about how the RU is going so far. Um, so today was a long day. <laughs> I got into the lab at like 8:40 and did some reading and research about the topic which is liver toxicity that's the main overbranching topic for my lab that I'm in so I did some reading on the background like the chemistry behind liver toxicity and did some research into different things about that and then I went to a I went to a meeting about working with radioactive chemicals um because my lab has the licensure to work with radioactive chemicals, but they don't right now, but still have to go and watch and listen and learn about that. So went to that, and then after that, we started our actual lab work for the day. So we today we did a LDH assay, and the LDH assay was one of like the last things we did. So we actually did a whole bunch of sample prep work before. So I spent most of my day prepping um, the cells 
for analysis with the LDH assay and I spent most of the day pipetting and then learning how to use the LDH, LDH assay machine. Like it's a machine that does a whole bunch of like assays for you at the same time, which is not something I'm used to having. So it was a little bit different and weird. And tonight I think I'm just gonna lay low. I might go out to dinner with some of the other students, but otherwise eh, I'm just gonna lay low and then Sunday, I have to go in and change the media on my cells. Um, yeah, so. But um, before I upload this video, I wanted to give a brief description of what an REU actually is because I feel like a lot of people don't really know. So it's basically a research internship, but what it actually stands for is research experience for undergraduates. So that's what an REU is. Um, typically, uh, anyone from their freshman, after their freshman year, so sophomores to juniors are encouraged to apply. This was the last summer I could have gotten into a research experience, and I'm glad I did. What each REU student does depends on the professor that they're placed with and uh, how much they work, and the lab setting is all dependent on the professor. Um, but typically, it's not like... It's not like I'm doing like an independent project for the lab. It's like I'm doing some research that's going to contribute to the lab's overall project. So I'm only here for 10 weeks. RUs are great opportunities for students who are considering pursuing research, especially students who don't have lots of research opportunities at their school. Yeah, so that's just a little description of what an RU is. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video of my first week here at UConn, and uh, I'm excited to see what the summer brings, so thank you for watching. I hope you really like this video, and I hope you are willing to subscribe and like this video, because it really makes my day when people do that, so yeah, until next time, bye!